And this is the astrological forecast for the sign of Capricorn for 2021. After 2020, I imagine a number of you are kind of quaking in your boots in case of what I might say. So let me start off by saying that for the vast majority of you, by which I mean 90%, 2021 is going to be a much easier year, at least by the time you're into the end of January. So let's look at some of the fine tuning before I properly summarize it. The new moon in Capricorn is on the 13th of January. This is a very, very important new moon. It's the most important new moon in Capricorn that there's been for a large number of years. It is pretty much conjunct Pluto. Sun conjunct moon conjunct Pluto is going to have a major effect upon a number of you, those of you born particularly around the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th of January, you're going to find that this new moon is either a chance to establish old patterns of self-sabotage in a way that becomes permanent or to break the mold, reinvent yourself and fresh start and begin again. Time to break free, I suggest. The full moon in Capricorn will come around the 24th of June. And this is going to particularly impact upon the people born around the 24th, 25th, 26th of December. And if you're one of these people, then that full moon on the 24th of June is a time to successfully bring a large number of areas in your life to a permanent conclusion. Mercury starts the year in Capricorn and ends the year in Capricorn. It's in Capricorn from the 1st of January and it will leave Capricorn on the 8th. So the first week of the year is actually not that bad a time for many of you. It's a good time to communicate, network and get things done. As is the time from the 13th of December onwards where Mercury will once again be in Capricorn. Venus goes into Capricorn on the 8th of January until the 1st of February. So this is again, uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's a reasonably nice time. But much more important is that Venus will then move into Capricorn again on the 5th of November before then going retrograde in Capricorn on the 19th of December and staying there a retrograde until the end of the year. So here I'm particularly focusing on those Capricorns born from the um, 2nd through to about the 15th of January. As far as you people are concerned, the time from the second week of November of 2021 onwards, this is the 2nd to the 15th of January group of Capricorns, the second week of November onwards, no new financial or and romantic decisions or major changes of course should be made then until you're into the start of 2022. Play safe on that one. Mars is not going to be in Capricorn in 2021. It's uh, leaving you alone and that's cause for celebration. And as regarding the big boys, well, has to be said, it's all pretty good. Firstly, Saturn has left Capricorn. It's in Aquarius all of next year, and this is not going to be influencing or affecting you. Secondly, Jupiter has left Capricorn. He's going to be in Aquarius most of the year, and as a result, it's not affecting you. Although there is the period of mid-May through to late July, when Jupiter will move into Pisces, and here he will be acting in a very positive way to those of you born on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd of December. So if you're one of these born at the start of Capricorn, mid-May to late July is a time of growth and opportunity, but the wise amongst you will take the quality, not the quantity. Pluto is still in Capricorn. And over the coming year, those of you born around the 14th, 15th and 16th of January are going to have Pluto on top of your sun. 
This happens on average once every 248 years. It lasts for at least a year at a time. In rare, rare circumstances, it can last for two years at a time. It is the single most compressed and concentrated period of psychological change that has ever been in your life. And on the negative side, it can involve obsessive, compulsive, intense and extreme circumstances with people seeking to manipulate, dominate and have unethical and inappropriate control over you. At a neutral level, it involves purging, cleansing, purifying, eliminating. And at the positive side, it brings transformation, regeneration and rebirth and a period of psychological health, wealth and growth, which is looking excellent. Neptune is in Pisces and over the coming year, Neptune is going to be smiling on some of you. Initially, the 8th, 9th of January, when the first couple of months of this year, you're going to be finishing off what you've been doing over 2020 and bringing things to fruition. Certainly those of you born around the 10th, 11th, 12th of January, 2021 is going to be a year of much more vivid imagination, creative output, spiritual input, your aesthetic, sensual, artistic sides are going to become more enhanced and your imagination and your creativity are going to become more accentuated and that's just lovely. Uranus has been and continues to be affecting the charts of those born of you born in the last four days of December and this will continue until April. So if you're one of these late December Capricorns, then the next three months, January, February, March, early April, seems to be a time of real opportunities to upgrade and revolutionize your life and bring some really positive changes into your life. After April, Uranus then moves on and starts influencing those of you born around the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th of January. And if you're one of these, then the time from mid-April onwards through to the end of the year is a time for upgrading, innovation, novelty, stimulus, excitement, adventure, a time of more personal freedom and a time to upgrade your possibilities and potentials. All in all, with Uranus and Neptune smiling on you, with Saturn and Jupiter not touching you, with Mars not being in your sign over the coming year, and with Pluto, Pluto's been in your sign 11 years. He's going to be with you another three. You're getting used to having Pluto in your sign now. So am I worried by Pluto and Capricorn? Not really. There will be isolated times where Pluto in Capricorn will come under pressure, most notably the first week of June, when Mars will oppose this. And that's when those of you born around the 13th and 14th of January are going to get your buttons pushed. And then again, in the first 10 days, first week of September, when again, there may be an element of discrepancy in, in the reality of the information you're getting. But to be honest, it's not that difficult a year, folks. Much better than 2020. Big thank you to all those people who have helped me. And um, yeah, have a good year. Catch you later. Bye.